<laughs> okay, it can be heard. I don't know if anybody could hear that. Maybe it's too loud. <laughs> I hope not. But I can't contain my excitement. Okay. So it can be heard. I don't know if anybody can so hear I hope that. we have folks joining Maybe us. It's but too loud. I, <laughs> I hope not. But I can't I stop can't laughing. I can't contain my excitement. So okay. it can be heard. So okay, that was an echo. So I'm still live on Facebook. <laughs> nice. Okay. So now that I have a few people here joining me, uh, can you all hear me okay? Comments if you can. Okay. I'm just I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this wonderful music while we go live. And uh Okay. Well, I have an amazing announcement to, uh, I just want to let you guys all know that um, I um, have my cup of tea. One. But my biggest thing here, and I'm actually, it's giving me um, feedback here, so I'm going to stop. But I am announcing that I have launched a business um, and it's called Ernest Tea. And so we actually have a box of tea here. And I also um, want to, you know, kind of show off my nice teapot here. And, you know, so I want to let you guys know that my teas are going to be launching and the website is now live. So if you have enjoyed the teas that I have um, been enjoying for years. Well, first, I think I should back up and just kind of talk about the role that tea has really played in my life. And I, I noticed that um, tea is, has been that connector for me. It has been that thing that really um, gives me that sense of, you know, calmness. I'll, I'll go to tea and turn to tea whenever I'm upset or when I'm happy. And tea time um, in my family was always really big. My grandmother was this Southern genteel woman who was four foot 11. And she would just like, oh, it's time for tea. And, you know, it would, it would always be on fine china like this. And, you know, my mom continued that tradition. And so we as a family, we've always loved to have our teas, whether it's my mom's Lipton or Orange Pico or, you know, my sister's lemon teas and my grandmother's same lemon tea. So, um, you know, that's just really been a connector for me in my family. But then also, um, I love all things British and, you know, just the whole royalty and, you know, just kind of dining in elegance and sophistication. <laughs> um, anybody who knows me knows that I love that kind of stuff. And um, then I think that another thing um, that has to do with the teas is my love of internationalism and, you know, international travel, seeing the world um, and, you know, going to different places has been you know really eye-opening and has shaped who I am so you know whether it was you know me living in China and tea being a really big part of the culture in China or me visiting Japan and the same with tea culture or really really um, sort of getting into Indian culture as a teenager and you know falling in love with you know chai tea you know tra made the traditional way with the spices and milk and you know made on the stove top with just simmering ginger and everything all together um, and then it's like Russian tea and you know you also have you know African teas that I discovered when I was in South Africa rooibos being one of my favorites so um, tea has really, it has a really rich culture and history and, you know, tea time is one of my favorite times of day and I think that with this being such a tough year and tea has kind of been something that's been that underlying thing that, you know, I always turn to and so um, I am going to go ahead and share the tea website. Um, ErnestTea.com and all of the teas are now for sale and you know I will also be having more frequent community conversations um, and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and share my screen and 
That way we can go through the website together, which is now live. So without further ado, here is ErnestT.com. So we have our website. It is up and it is live and it's got graphics and, you know, it's got I'm just going to read here um, our hand handcrafted gourmet tea. These locally sourced blends of spices and herbs and teas from around the world are the perfect way to enhance any occasion. The fragrant escapes of earnest tea, of the earnest tea experience, will envelop you in the elegance of tea time from bygone eras. Um, from our smooth, rich, creamy taste of the marshmallow, lavender, chamomile vanilla uh, to the bold spices of the firehouse chai uh, have an adventure or an escape with ernestine's signature blend of international inspired teas with a local twist and i say local because wherever possible when i get the herbs and spices for these teas that i blend myself um i will get them from local places i know that um i shop with a local um, delivery service called Good Pluck, where Good Pluck will go to local organic grocers or, um, you know, uh, local farmers, I should say, and find the sources like the mints and it's just dried mint ground up. And, you know, then there's also the other spices, the rose hips and, you know, other blends that are a big part of, you know, tea. So I'm also going to keep scrolling here. I'm going to be linking our tea events like the community conversations, which, you know, we can have more frequently. I know um, many people came to my first tea event and, you know, they've asked, when is the next one? So here is our hand blended organic uh, gourmet tea sampler. And that one is $10 and it's got some of the favorite blends that people have, you know, kind of expressed really a lot of interest in, which is the French vanilla lavender. Um, and then the Kevin's Firehouse Chai and then Gloria's Wellness Blend. And people have asked the story of Gloria's Wellness Blend. And I always like to um, tell the story of how like my grandmother, Gloria, um, she used to make these really great teas that, you know, always had lemon. And, you know, it was, it was either Lipton tea or some sort of black tea, but it had lemon. And then it kind of had this spice. And, you know, it was very like, like your grandmother used to make. But then my sister, Gloria, who's often named after my, um, my, my grandmother, she came up with this, you know, sort of spice elderflower. It's got clove. It's got like a kind of apple flavor to it. And then, so it's got all of these spices that are very warm and inviting, but then it also has like mint and lemon. And so whenever you're not feeling well, the Gloria's Wellness Blend is definitely something I recommend. So. The website is earnesttea.com. That's E-R-N-E-S-T-E-A.com. And so you can shop our teas. And here we are. The teas that are here on the website. And you can shop for them. You can shop for the small boxes, which are $5. And then the large boxes, which are uh, $10. So you get four in the $5 box. And you get 10 in the $10 box. So... Here are just some of those. And here I'm going to refresh because there's actually a special deal for the holidays that has just been added here. Um, and it's not showing up for some reason. So I'm going to stop sharing. But um, it's essentially we have, you know, shirts that, you know, express Harper Woods pride. And there's a teacup that says Harper Woods pride. And um, maybe I'll, I'll just kind of bring up a picture of that uh, for, for the sake of this live. But um, please comment and, um, you know, just kind of enjoy the teas. Visit the website. We also have an Instagram um, and the Facebook page. So here's our Facebook page. It loads. Ernest T is our Facebook page and it is live. And then we have the Instagram page, which is... It is live and you can shop from these websites uh, and it's also linked to earnesttea.com. So that is my big announcement and I will include the links here uh, now that we have gone live and this will also be on my YouTube page as well. Uh, in addition to the commercials and some of the 
um, things that kind of explain the stories behind the teas. So I hope you have enjoyed this live announcement. And matter of fact, let me just stop sharing so I can pull up the lovely Harper Woods Pride t-shirt that actually goes with the Harper Woods Yule Log, which is a Lapsang Souchong tea, which is a very smoky black tea and it's wonderful, kind of smells like you're drinking a campfire or sitting by the fireplace around the holidays with the Yule Log going and it's got a little bit of cinnamon in there. So that one is called the Harper Woods Yule Log because as y'all know, I love me some Harper Woods. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show those lovely pictures of my teacups. Let me just pull them up. Okay, one second here. I hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful classical music. And anybody who knows me knows I love classic music, classical music. All right, so here is the image of the t-shirt that we have the Harper Woods Pride shirt and the Harper Woods Pride mug, as you can see. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing and then show you a nice close up of the shirt. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna stop it. I didn't like the sound of the mandolin. The mandolin. Okay. All right, so here we are. This is the um, Harper Woods Pride shirt, which is live on the website, uh, earnesttea.com. So you can, if you're thinking about shopping a small business for the holiday season, then look no further. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so that way we can, um, I'd love to have like a portion of the proceeds go to, you know, local organizations who are doing really great work, like our Harper Woods Neighborhood Economic Development Coalition, or some of the other charities that, you know, do great work around the city. So um, charities, nonprofits, and organizations, groups. Um, but yeah, that is... I'm gonna go ahead and stop. So thank you guys for um, joining me for this big announcement and for having a cup of tea with me. Mm. I'm actually having a new tea that I'm trying out, which is a cream Earl Grey. And so um, I will also be uh, selling the teas tomorrow and I'm gonna pull up the location for you all. Okay, I will be at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church uh, tomorrow in Detroit um, at a craft fair and that will be from a 10 to 2. I will be there and um, the address I'm gonna pull up that is 1345 Gratiot Avenue in Detroit, Michigan. So that's Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. I will be at a craft fair tomorrow selling the Ernest Teas. Um, so you can get your variety box or you can get the box of five to just sample um, or you can just get all one flavor, um, whatever your choice. But that is the big announcement. Our website is live and we have our teas. We have the tea shirts and the tea cups. So I hope you have enjoyed um, having tea and classical music here with me. So, all right, and that's it. Have a great day. I look forward to having more community conversations with you. And you have a great, you guys all have a great holiday. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in some capacity other ways. So be safe and uh, hope, love, and prosperity. <laughs> Any more teapons? I can keep them coming. All right. Well, that, with, that, with that, that ends the live. So thank you guys so much for, for joining the live. Okay, and that ends our Facebook. Um, Facebook? Thank you so much for watching out there on YouTube. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'd love to, you know, have more history of tea kind of uh, commentary and videos. Uh, of course, that's going to be coming uh, more with this channel as we flush it out to be more of the love of the international um, small business tips, of course, and local politics. Um, and then, of course, languages. So, um, And what better language to speak than the language of tea? Because that's one thing about tea. 
it's the same in just about every language. So when you look at it in, in Hindi, it's chai, you know, and in China, it's chai, um, cha, and um, in Russia, it's chai, chai. So it's either going to be chai or te, te in French. So te or chai everywhere. And everybody knows the name of tea. And, you know, it had, has really become this unifying figure for the world. So um, if you love tea culture, uh, please keep watching and you're going to be seeing a lot more of this, uh, you know, budding business. So stay tuned. All right. Have a great one. So if you follow me on the Facebook, you will know that I just made an announcement. Pause. that I have launched a tea business. It's called Ernest Tea. And this is one of, a box of one of my teas. And the website, ErnestTea.com, is now live. So you can shop online and enjoy my teas. Also follow Ernest Tea, Ernest tea on Instagram. So Ernest.Tea, T-E-A. Um, and that is my Instagram name. And so you can shop this holiday season with a local business. I hand blend all of the teas myself and I shop for organic, um, locally sourced materials and spices uh, to, and then also try to make sure that the bags that the tea comes in are not bleached or using, you know, harsh chemicals and they break down easily in the environment. So sustainability is at the core of what I um, do here with Ernest Teas. And in addition to, you know, just kind of making sure that we're supporting local with the spices and herbs and, um, you know, for the herbal teas. Um, and then also looking at the wonderful teacups, those are a part of the Ernest Tea collection. So you're gonna be able to find those. And um, so yes, look for more Ernest Teen. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm mixing up my puns. Ernest T community conversations. And uh, so I look forward to having you visit the website, ErnestT.com. Um, shop for the holidays. Your mom, your grandma, your sisters, and anybody who loves tea, please send them my way. Um, also, I will be at the historic Trinity Lutheran Church tomorrow at a craft fair from... Uh, 10 to 3 selling my teas and uh, so I'm super excited to have them there so some of our, our famous blends are the uh, French vanilla lavender which I actually take fresh vanilla and scrape it out of the beans and then kind of blend it into the chamomile lavender and then there's also um, let me see they're just really cool ingredients. Um, it's chamomile, lavender, vanilla, marshmallow. So I use like marshmallow roots, which is like an herb that comes from like a marshmallow plant. Um, and then also put real marshmallows in the tea. And um, my, my, okay, I almost lost my music. Okay, good, it's back. So, <laughs> so yes, the tea business has been launched. Thank you for joining me, Steve Dombrowski. Hey, how's it going? But um, I have just launched a tea business, and so if you're looking for teas to uh, gift people with for this holiday season, there's also um, a lovely Harper Woods Pride t-shirt um, and coffee cup that is available on ErnestTea.com if you would like to um, shop our holiday collection. Um, and then uh, I was also describing the teas. So there's also, um, so that was the lavender chamomile marshmallow um, tea, which is a really cool way to mellow out pun fully intended. I'm full of puns today. So I'm gonna roll with all of the tea puns. And uh, so that has officially launched. And so follow me on Instagram, um, follow the tea journey. Um, there's gonna be more about this posted on um, the, Ernestine Lyons YouTube channel, which if you're not subscribed to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so buy the teas and, you know, just look forward to having community conversations. I'd love to have you over at my place and, you know, we can talk about how to change the world for the better. Um, and, uh, okay, I was also describing the teas. So then there's the Kevin's Firehouse Blend, which is a um, chai tea, and it is a very strong, spicy tea. So, um, and uh, it's really, really great because um, it's a chai tea with a shot of espresso, 
Um, so it's dirty chai, um, but in tea bag, and that one is best served hot. Um, but it's also best served with milk. So um, just like a traditional chai that comes from India. Um, then there's also the Gloria's Wellness Blend, which is a great tea for when you are feeling under the weather or you're feeling like you just want a nice little pick-me-up because the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> there's also the Harper Woods Yule Log, which is a Lapsang Souchong tea, which is a smoked black tea with a hint of cinnamon and you know other spices that are warm and inviting and make you feel like you're sitting either at a Yule log or campfire. So um, the teas are lovely. They're some of my favorites. And you know, it's funny, I was just looking at my vision boards from 18, 19, 20, and every single one of them had tea on there for some reason. And it's just because like, I love tea and it is, such a huge part of me and what I do and why I do what I do um, and it, it like it is something that people use around the world to connect with other human beings and you know tea culture is it permeates you know from Africa to Asia to you know the Middle East and Europe you know all over the world you know tea culture is huge and tea is a big part of the culture even more so than coffee um, and so, yeah, yeah, I'd love to kind of share more tea history uh, with everybody. Um, but that is my big announcement. I wanted to do that live on Facebook and Instagram and share with you guys that I have just launched a tea business. And that tea business is uh, Ernest Tea. So visit ErnestTea.com and get the folks in your life you love that you want to bring closer together and have community conversations. Like, I'm gonna keep these puns going. I mean, like, I'm just gonna be talking in puns that have anything to do with tea. But, um, yes, yeah, so visit ErnestT.com, Ernest T Ernest on Instagram, and, you know, shop this holiday season, support a small business um, and a local business that utilizes local spices and local herbs to concoct my hand blended teas. And uh, so, yeah, and internationally inspired locally with a local twist is um the the moniker that i've been using so with that i'm gonna go ahead and end the live thank you guys for joining and um the website ernestt.com is officially live so go ahead and shop and uh i will see you soon all right paka paka that's vidanya e saubona i have no idea how to end a live Oh, yes, I do. Bye, everybody. Zaitian. Finding our teas, so just one moment. This will all be edited and post. Okay. All right, I'm ready to go live with this announcement. Actually, before I go live, I'm just gonna grab my headphones. And I'm going to check my microphone because I believe we have the Yeti microphone set up here. Okay, I'm going to bring that closer and bring that hair back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in so that I can pay attention to what's going on on Facebook as we go live. And all right, we are ready to go.